For the first time since April, the Douglas County Commission met with all five commissioners in attendance. An alleged bid rigging scandal forced two of the five out of office, at least until their trial. Fox 5 team reporter Randy Travis talked to their appointed replacements who have already tipped the political power away from Democrats. Randy? That's right, Courtney Russ. So back in 2016, Douglas County's power structure flipped from Republican to Democrat in the blink of a single election. But Democrats on the county commission are no longer in control, setting up the likelihood for some significant changes. Welcome to the Douglas County Board of Commissioner work session. And with that, former longtime Douglas County Sheriff Phil Miller became the first Republican since 2016 to chair the county commission. The other new face, sitting to his far right, Ricky Dobbs, the pair now in place vowing to shift Douglas County in a different direction. I just want people to be honest. I don't, that's all. The vision that I see is stability. The power structure began to crumble earlier this year when a grand jury indicted Chairman Ramona Jackson Jones, Commissioner Henry Mitchell, and three others, accusing the two Democrats of illegally steering a cleaning contract to a political supporter who lived in Mitchell's district. All five deny the charges. Governor Brian Kemp suspended both commissioners and appointed Miller and Dobbs as their temporary replacements. Miller, a Republican, has been retired since 2016. The governor asked me to take this job. I didn't apply for this job. It's hard to complain about the way things are going and if you're not willing to step up and try to do something about it. But some residents in this heavily Democratic county clearly are not pleased with the governor's choices. And I stand before you disgusted and asking for a change. Kemp has seized power for his party and overridden the will of the people, and we will not accept this coup. Through these appointments, Kemp not only told the citizens of Douglas County that he doesn't care about them or what they want, he was sneering at us. With two declared Democrats and now two declared Republicans on the commission, Dobbs could hold the key to any important votes. A football star at the Naval Academy, Dobbs now teaches P.E. at Douglas County High School. Uh, I'm an independent. I want to be, I look at this opportunity or this situation as I could be that swing vote because I'm going to definitely stand up for what's right and sometimes what's right is on both sides. So what changes could be underway for Douglas County citizens? Well, both newcomers say they want to reduce property taxes, limit purchase card abuse, it's already under criminal investigation, and cut down on spending overall, including that controversial vote by the old commission to pay the legal fees for those two indicted commissioners. Oh, no, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Should that continue in your mind? No. But both also believe the county should continue paying the legal bills of probate judge Christina Peterson, accused by the Judicial Qualifications Commission of 40 counts of civil misconduct. The difference? Peterson is not accused of a crime. That's not my biggest concern. My biggest concern is getting our credibility, credibility back. And perhaps the biggest surprise, both hope the people they're replacing eventually come back to replace them. Well, I hate that they got caught up into it, hopefully, that they, you know, everything checks out and, you know, they're, they're proven to be innocent. Ramona Jackson Jones and Henry Mitchell are both my friends. I hope they're innocent. No trial date has been set for any of the five under indictment. Well, we just heard them sort of hint at it, but do either of these men have any designs for these positions permanently? Phil Miller says absolutely not. He turned 71 today, actually, and okay. uh, he said he was in Colorado when the governor called uh, offering him this position. He said he couldn't say no to that, but he says no, he's done. Uh, Ricky Dobbs, on the other hand, has uh, said that he would like a, a career in politics. Uh, he's hoping this will be a springboard, but mm -hmm. both men say that they're hoping that this appointment is... Um, temporary and as short as possible. You heard, they, they both hope that the indicted commissioners are found innocent. Wow, all right, interesting to see how this mm -hmm. plays out. Randy, thanks. Thanks, Randy.